If you want to know how to make quality spirits, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Nicola from DES and welcome to our testing facility. The star of today's presentation is DWEC 120, the smallest capacity steel we manufacture in our premium segment. Starting from 120 liters net capacity, we manufacture two types of steel. First one is classic Alembic 120 liter steel, which we manufacture for classic distillations, the old school type. And another one is the next I'm standing to right now, fractionating column steel, 120 liters capacity, which is designed for modern distillations, obtaining high proof of alcohol from a single distillation cycle. Depending on our customer's individual requirements, the steels can be powered either by solid fuels, electricity with 12 kilowatts per hour, or gas with 30 kilowatts capacity gas burners, uh, LPG or natural gas. Of course, we can provide you with a combination, two out of three. Uh, this steel is a combo of solid fuel and electrical power. Steel is made from pure electrolytic copper, chemically treated for maximum catalytic effect. It has a capacity, like we said, 120 liters net, which means 120 liters is uh, amount for optimum performance. Of course, you can put smaller amount of mesh in it, but you shouldn't go uh, lower than 60 liters. Inside of steel, we have a diagonally positioned propeller, which is powered by the electro motor that runs it at 96 RPM. It provides a permanent contact with hot surface and facilitates efficient extract of alcohol vapors. So why is this important? Because the propeller inside will steer the mesh through the whole volume and the mesh will be heated equally. The upper part of the steel has a large surface in which vapors can interact. When vapors get in contact with the copper, we get condensation. It provides a very good reflux. This first initial reflux guarantees us the best possible product at the end. Once extracted, vapors go to the three-plated column during the distillation. The columns and bubble caps are also made from copper, the material which is unparalleled in the world of distillation. It's the best possible material and that is why we mention it so much. This unit is called deflogmator or tamper or pre-cooling unit. It provides the condensation of vapor and it separates ethanol from water and other higher alcohols. It does so by regulating the temperature of vapor flow. You can check the temperature at this meter here. It also allows you to control the concentration of alcohol or ABV of the spirit distilled. Passing through the deflagmator, vapor goes to the condenser or the cooling system. It has inlet for cold and outlet for hot water where we can regulate the temperature. Consumption may vary on your water source basically on the temperature of your water source. The alcohol meter will go at this place and it's called a parrot. I would just like to take a step back and mention the furnace. It's made from brushed stainless steel, it has a water bath and electric heaters in the water that are uh, heating the water until the boiling point. The furnace is operating with low pressure of 0.5 bars and you can check it right here and it is uh, regulated by a safety valve which lets the excess pressure out and it is right here. When the water is filled and you can do that with a standard garden hose with the inlets on the other side of the steel, we should check the amount of water in it. The power is regulated by these switches, each operating at 2 kilowatts of power. The steering is controlled by this little switch, but like we said, the once you start the process, don't turn it off. <sighs> Excellent. So we took some juice from the mesh. It's not the thick part, you can see it's like natural juices. And what should we do now? We should measure the pH level. We have a little pH meter right here, so we are going to turn it on, put it inside of a juice, and let us see, it is 3.1. 
the ideal score would be 2.8, but for fruit beverages and spirits, it's reasonable to be from 3 to 4. This is a handheld refractometer. It will help us determine if the mesh is ready to be distilled. Now, I've been measuring and taking samples during the fermentation process. Usually, the fermentation takes 10 to 16 days. Now we are at the day 12. We should be done and let us check the results. This is perfect. Sugar is at 9 bricks and alcohol is at 5% of ABV. Once the mesh is in the steel, be sure that the manhole is properly closed and then you can start the distillation. Today we have a fermented mesh from apples, but you can use almost any type of fruit or grains. Let's start the process. Okay, so the first fraction is coming out and it's methanol, very bad for you. It should be sipped away because it is poisonous. And about 0.5% from the whole mesh should be methanol. You can smell the acetone and as long as you can smell it, you should throw it away. Inlet for cold water for the condenser is right here, so you can regulate the temperature of the product right here on this valve. Let us see what the temperature is at this moment. So, at the moment, we have ideal temperature, so we will not touch anything regarding the inlet of cold water. Let us check the final product. You can actually smell the apple aroma. We have reached the end of the distillation process. As you can see, the alcohol meter is showing 55% of ABV and it's time to shut everything down. Parameters may vary depending on your environmental conditions. Of course, they can also vary depending on the type of the beverage you want to produce. Our goal in production of these types of steels is to provide to you a well-balanced, efficient and affordable steels for distillation of any type of your premium beverages. If you have any kind of questions, please send it to us. Our commercial staff will be more than happy to answer all your queries. If you like what you saw, please like, share and subscribe. And we will see each other at the presentation of another model. Until then, best regards. Mm -hmm.